What did you say? Good morning everybody. Welcome back to what is going to be a very, very exciting video for this YouTube channel. We are at the Carrara Market. Uh, it looks three hours a week. 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. is your opportunity on a Sunday morning to come down here, catch up with these vendors and try and find some crazy cool items that we can flip for a profit. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of hours with you guys. So let's get into the first stall and hopefully buy some cool stuff. That is a beauty. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, it's yours. What, for the Broncos? Yeah. 90? Yeah. Because he had on eBay for two nights. Two nights. I got two, mate. Your best price? Um, yeah, it'd have to be a hundred all up. hundred all up? Yeah. I go for it. Yeah, 290. Let's do it. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you know what he is? Yeah, like a my football monster. Yeah. It's like my pet monster, but it's a football one. Football one. He is awesome. Are you going for a couple of My pet monster. You done well. Thank you. Great result. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, mate. You too. I'll leave that here. Oh, I got a t couple of football jerseys. One rugby and one AFL. Uh, that one, the um, the Giants one. Greater Western Sydney. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't too big. I think it's a medium or a large. Yeah. Oh, you did, yeah. Oh, thank you. I just don't want to feel bad. No, no stress at all. As long as you got a few items, that's great. Vintage Brisbane Broncos jersey and a player issued uh, GWS Giants jersey. That is just unbelievable to be able to grab it for a hundred dollars as well just off camera um it was actually dane who's a viewer of the channel i've never met him before um he introduced himself said he was a big fan of the channel so um dane i know you'll be watching this thank you very much for the hookup um they're going to go on to sell incredibly well and it was a very generous price of a hundred dollars so thank you for that Thank you. 
Thanks, twenty dollars. Easy. How you doing? Did you? What'd you get? Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. This big pile of stuff. Did you? Oh, we got these wooden puppets. Oh, wow. We don't know anything like all Because I said to him, oh, I'll take a picture. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Oh, that cool. Oh, whoops. Put his head back on. Yeah, nice. How cool are they? Yeah, ten bucks. That's a steal. And then you got some plush as well. Old now, ones? who are they? Do you uh, know? Puppy Surprise. Puppy Surprise. They're the old ones, the original ones, not the oh. ones they have out now. Dollar each. Dollar each. Well done. Oh, yes. Dollar? Yes. That's Roger Rabbit, isn't it? Yes. Yep. They're all old. That's old, yeah, absolutely I it think is. They're, um, oh, the Rainbow. I'm pretty sure they're those Rainbow not, Brights. 1983 Hallmark Rainbow cards. Bright. Rainbow Maybe, Brights. I'm pretty sure it looks like it. Jeez, well done. And my pet monster. Oh yeah. Man, there's some funky plush going around at the moment. Wow. My pet monster. I'm not too sure if that's a rainbow bright as well. Oh yeah. wow, dollar. So you got all this for like 10 bucks? A uh, dollar each, so. Wow. That's an amazing grab. That pays to come in and have the booth, right? Yeah. Because you get to do the runarounds beforehand. Done. Now that's incredible. Thank you for showing me. Especially this one. Yeah, that, what do you reckon that's worth? I don't know, he's got one over here. Yeah. He wants a hundred bucks. Yeah. But he's got like a lot of wear. And he's like, Not the one with the helmet. Pieces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's sold for 80. Oh, did you say yeah. that? Yeah, just saw it just then. I was like, over that booth. Because I want one. Yeah. But I don't want one that looks like that. Yes. I want a perfect one. Yeah. That's a good one. Wait now. Ten on those? Yeah. Yep, no worries. Woo. That's incredible. Appreciate yes. that. Thanks heaps. Absolutely blown away by what I'm finding so far today, guys. Absolutely incredible market. It changes every week, yet it's in the same location, it's the same time, but just some weeks are better than others, and we have got a good one today. Wish I knew my cameras more. Could be all right. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good. Yourself? Really good, thank you. It's a matter of digging. <laughs> I actually really like the fact that you got to dig. Yeah, I know. A lot of people do. Makes it we even more fun. We don't even know what's in them half the time. You don't know what's in it? Yeah, no. well, that's even better. But we do with states. Just these states. So we just put everything in boxes and that's bring it down. incredible. you got some great stuff. Yeah, we don't normally a lot of stuff. You get, um... We, just, we get one of the busiest stands here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you get jumped on early too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, all I'll come just, rushing in. Oh, a lot of the dealers come first. Absolutely. Rightly so. Yeah. Brand new sealed. It's a good show that one. That's cool. Good catch. <laughs> Where's Jamie when you need him? I'm seeing so many cameras today and I don't know a thing about them. I don't even want to ask for a price point because I don't know what it's worth. I could sit there and comp research, but I feel like I've just got to look after the stuff that I know, find the stuff that I know. Look, we got, I thought these were Birkenstocks, but they're not. There's just a lot of stuff that I'm, oh, what are these? All right, so these here, we've got some Steph Curry's and there's a $3 price tag on them. It's incredible. Can I take those? Okay. Thank you. Do you need the bag? No, I think I can throw them into... Okay. So yeah, I think that's going to be the plan of attack. Stick into my wheelhouse and find the stuff that I want to find, that I know will go on to sell well. 
and then play with the other stuff like the cameras that I want to start to learn because they are a high average sale price. Um, maybe on days not like today where it's so damn busy and so good. I feel like good items are jumping at me everywhere at the moment. So I'm just going to stick to what I know. Yeah, this is a Tony Hawk birdhouse deck, birdhouse trucks. It's actually a really good skateboard. How much is the skateboard? 20 bucks. Is that yours, was it back in the day? Yeah, yeah, can't tell. <laughs> That's elite. Ollies and kick flips, a couple of heel flips. Is that what they are? Yeah, man. <laughs> Another little tip that I've got for you guys when you're down at flea market or garage sales is really pay attention to what the other customers are saying to the vendors, the negotiations that they're having. While you're in your silence just working out what to do, hearing what other people are up to with their negotiations lets you know sort of where the price points are going to be sitting when it comes your turn to negotiate. So if somebody calls out $2 for a pair of shoes, I'm going to know that I can go into the negotiations with a lower price than what I would normally do. If they obviously say it's $20, I know where I'm playing and potentially I often just leave um, because I know that the price points are too high. So always do that. It's um, just a little tip that might help you out. What have you got there? Oh, wouldn't you like it? What have you got? We're just saying how good of a day it is down here. That's a lovely jersey, isn't it? All signed up as well. Oh, shit. Hawthorne Hawks. I don't, I don't know about the signatures. What do yeah. you reckon? Gonna have to number five, Lulu Lulu Tulu. Yeah, you're gonna have to work that out, but it's a cool jersey. Who'd you get that off? It's pretty disgusting. Ten bucks. Ten bucks? Where well, was you it? You know the old couple? Oh yeah. The old lady. Yeah, right. I just took a risk and then I got these. Wait, what are they? Size twelve. Lots of Nikes. ISBs. That's it. Could be fake. No, I don't think so. They look pretty good. Yeah, like that looks alright. I'm just not doing the smell test because I... <laughs> okay, they could be coming. Yeah, that be. tag looks fine. Yeah, that's all good. You sure? Absolutely. Uh, 2021, yeah. Well played. 10 bucks. And, as usual... Things for 20 bucks. Nine carat earrings for 20 bucks. What's that going to be worth? Probably like 60. Oh. But yeah, it's like exchanging your 20 bucks for... Instant cash. 40 bucks. Instant cash. Instant cash. And it's constantly going up. It's incredible. How you been? Man. Got anything? Yes, I've got some jerseys. There was oh, a... Nice. Vinci, oh, you see those Nikes over there? What, the guy from down there? Over there. Oh, over there. Yeah, Dane, he's a viewer of the channel, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shout out, Dane. Shout Make out. Sure you like and subscribe, guys. Shout out to <laughs> Dane. How much on the two shoes? Hundred and how much on the Jordans? 110. 110? Yeah. Yep. Cool pairs of shoes. What size are they? Yep. Jesus. Little tech tech. Oh, the tech techs. Nah, unreal. Thank you, guys. Oh, it is. Like this. This could be cool. I bought. Nah, that's not good. This. Panamax 35 WF. That was a, a lot faster. Will it? Oh yeah. See, I just don't know anything about these things. That, that's the one out of all those. Is it really? <laughs> Fuji Film Fine Picks A2. How about this? I'll buy this for you. You ah. sell it. And no, then no. Just... Look at these Panasonic lenses. Oh, oh lenses. holy. No good. Funky. See, this could be worth a thousand or. Yeah, it could easily be worth a grand. I have no idea what that's worth. Can't say I've ever done any Boeing. 200 bucks. Do you know if this one works? Just the DVD VCR. Is that the one that's written on? Yeah. Do that, not use. So that, that That's chewing tapes for the DVD works. Oh, so yeah. the DVD player works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Is that a converter, do you know, or is it a... How do you mean? Like, does it, does it, con it doesn't convert, it just plays back VHS and DVD? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because yeah. you get them where they actually move the oh, DVD onto VHS. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. That'd be handy thing to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Well guys, I couldn't be more stoked with the purchases that we've been able to make today. Let's get back home and I'll go through some of the evaluations. 
So that was arguably one of the better days that I've had out in the flea market. Albeit though, we only purchased the six items. Uh, we spent $153. I just wanted to go through two of probably potentially the best finds I've had at the flea market this year, I want to go as far as to saying. Um, the first one here is this Brisbane Broncos jersey. Uh, this is a 2001 Brisbane Broncos jersey. A couple of little giveaway signs uh, to tell me of its vintage uh, was the fact that it's got the sponsorship of Team Nike. As you can see there, they don't sponsor the NRL anymore, Nike, or at least they don't sponsor the NRL with those old school tags anyway. Um, we've got an Anset Australia on the sponsorship sleeve. Anset Australia obviously isn't around anymore, so that let me know that this might have been around a 2000 vintage. Um, and sure enough, when I put it into Google, it was a 2001. So size extra large, it's like new, it's a ripping design as well. It looks an awesome jersey in great condition. Um, the comps on eBay are telling me I can get anywhere between $250 to $300 for this. And remember, we bought it off Dane for just the $50. So that's going to be an incredible turnaround. I dare say it'll sell in a couple of days. I've already put it up and it's already got five watches and 45 views. So that right there lets you know just how collectible these jerseys are. There's a lot of people swimming around eBay to try and find these sorts of things. And I reckon because it hasn't gone yet with five watches, I've priced it perfectly. So we'll probably end up getting about a $250 sale price when it's all said and done on that one there. I want to help you out with this one as well, guys. This was special the moment I saw it. I'm a big AFL fan, GWS Giants. It's got number 18 on the back. Uh, and that is going to be the reason why this thing is worth a lot of money, which I'll touch on in a second. Um, it's got a GPS pouch. So for the AFL jerseys, when you see the GPS, I've said it a lot, but that is the telltale sign to let you know you're up for a couple of hundred dollars at least. Um, this jersey here as well, it's also got the player edition uh, at the bottom of the jersey, and there is the number on the back. It's not a screen printed number. I think the term is sublimated, um, but I can tell based on the fact that there's no screen printing there, and it's actually on the jersey itself. Um, that tells me that it's worth a bit of money as well. So to price uh, match this and to work out exactly what year the jersey is, I use the sponsorships. So we've got Virgin Australia, and then we've got Toyo Tires on the front there. Um, and then I went and had a look at it, and I was blown away to work out the history of this exact jersey. It's a 2019 GWS jersey. Jeremy Cameron is the player. And when you do some research on 2019 Jeremy Cameron, it's actually the year this player kicked the most goals in the AFL. And GWS Giants also played in the grand final of that year as well. They didn't win it, but they played in the granny. So it tells me that this team, this jersey, and this player is something that's going to be incredibly sought after. And I'm going to go 280 well, I already have. I've listed it up for $280, and I declined an offer of 200 bucks. So I think the fact that there's a few watches on that as well, we should be able to get about 280 So what's that? Two jerseys for $560. Uh, worth of value. We got a bunch of other shoes in there. I'm not going to harp onto the shoes too heavily with you guys, but I do just want to highlight probably the best of the bunch from the shoes. Uh, we've got the Ariat boots. Um, these are the Ropers, and they go for about $135. So at the start of the day, as soon as I walked in, seeing these for $20, it got me pretty damn excited. So look, it was only six items today. I spent $153, but like I said, the jerseys are worth $560. So bang for buck, we've only got a few listings going up onto eBay after this trip, but we're going to make quite a decent amount of money from it. Um, if you've enjoyed these sorts of flea market style videos, guys, I'm going to leave you with this one right here. It was one of my favorite flea market runs from the last couple of weeks. We'll see you over there. Thanks for being here for this one.